Detroit. Grand Bob. Turtle Box. And Vagabonds. Their own bathrooms. That's the main house. And that's a hiker. Travis revamped it. It was all glass and then he added the hardwood down here and we stained it. And I don't know how. Good morning, February 15th, day 46. So we had a really nice stay at the Bear Inn or the Bear Black Bear. Black Bear. I don't know what I had for breakfast. Black Bear Resort. Very, very nice. I am so glad we stayed there. Linda and Travis, very good people. Um, wow, just an awesome place. And they're doing so much. They're adding a, a big cafe and just incredible place. So if you're in the area and you need a place to stay, I highly recommend staying there. Um, we were the first northbounders that stopped so they were kind of surprised to see us and you know like i said we were just <laughs> going to stop for a beer and a pizza and it turned out to be a stay but everything worked out perfect um great people great place to stay i mean what more could you ask for um today we're gonna get on trail here we are on trail and we're gonna head to uh boots off hostel uh between eight and nine miles um we got some falls we're going to be going by and there's a little ledge we're going to have to negotiate around a rock wall so that ought to be pretty neat hopefully we can stay dry from not falling in and from nothing falling from the sky but it's going to happen sooner or later so that's about it. We just got on trail. Uh, Linda brought us down so we didn't have to walk down here and she took us around their compound there. And boy, what a beautiful piece of property. So, uh, dropped us off and uh, back on trail. Quarter after nine and we're heading north. So as soon as we start seeing some of that cool stuff, I will snap some pics get some vids and uh, we'll go from there have a good day and we'll talk to you soon so the walk is uh, starting out pretty gentle but it's gonna get pretty steep pretty quick Because that's where we're going. But it is really neat through here. Imagine the trail is going to turn right. So we got to climb that mountain. Yep. Looks like there's a little falls down there. You can hear it roaring. 
All right, let's go see what we got down here. Oh, wow. Very cool. So it starts. a whole lot of margin for error.
beautiful scenery around here absolutely gorgeous and you can tell something's coming in it is so warm and humid Whew. definitely can tell storm is in the in the future but man what an awesome area that was the fun part uh, it was a big stone staircase that switched back down to the waterfall and then along the creek and then imagine at some point we're gonna go straight up so uh, continue to show you the cool stuff there's a lot of it. And so it begins. Look at these two awesome hikers. Hey there. So we're climbing up and out of where the waterfall was and we came to a Y where you can go off to the shelter and lo and behold there's Emoji. So glad to see her and she's actually hiking with us back out. I stopped to take a little potty break catching up to them now but the snacks were awesome but it was even better and a whole lot of awesomeness to sit and talk with her great person so glad we got to meet her and uh, good stuff just absolutely blessed to be able to sit there and have a conversation with her and she gave us some more poems so really looking forward to that hey caught them already There's where we're going. There's the creek we were just walking by. <clears throat> Whew, is it getting warm? Wow. Probably gonna fuel the storms we're supposed to get. There's the bridge we crossed. Walked all the way down there. Hung a right and we're climbing up the ridge. Side of the mountain. Not on the ridge, but off to the side. Just cutting in. So yesterday, Emoji was trying to catch us all day. She missed us in a few different spots, but she ended up having a really good day, saw some good sights, 
and had a good day, which was the important thing. And she was trying to catch us at the different uh, gaps and road crossings and just kept missing us. And then one road was closed, so she wasn't able to get back here, but she saw our footprints. So she knew she was just, just behind us. But uh, she said today she was gonna get us no matter what. Always great talking to her. Very good person inside and out. Like I said, the, the little treats were, were nice, but it, it's more about sitting and talking with her. Such a good person. And she's met some pretty well-named hikers, like Hawk and uh, various other ones. But anyway, we are headed to Boots Off. And uh, she said she'll probably meet us there. So, good stuff. Again, thank you if we don't see you. And uh, hopefully we can make it dry. Well, we're already wet from sweat. So, uh, enough of chewing on your ear. We'll see you in a bit. So, 70 degrees, 70 degrees, sunny, humid, steep incline. And a turtle shell that weighs 47 pounds equals really much, really sweaty. But hey, could be a lot worse. But uh, this morning I did weigh my pack. And uh, it was starting to feel pretty good. I sent some stuff home and food bags started to get down. And we went to the Dollar General last night and I got a bunch of cheese. So, uh... I had some for breakfast, I'll have some for lunch. I should have never bought any more food because I think that's one of my nemesis. I get too much food. And uh, the only thing is just a couple warm weather things and uh, my tarp could be lighter. But other than that, I think food's my biggest problem. So, uh, until my pack gets down to the low 40s, I'm not buying any food. My name is Bart Lysis, and I have a problem with too much food in my backpack. Whew. This heat's getting to me, but it sure is beautiful. All right. Um, like I said, my turtle shell was 47 pounds, less my phone, but... Uh, I had to be carrying mid 50s through the through the Rhone mountain range, and after that resupply I got at uh, Laughing Heart. But uh, we're getting it down. What's going on? I had to put the buff on to keep the sweat out of my face. Anyway, uh, beautiful day for a walk in the woods. <clears throat> First half of the day was a climb up and down into the gorge where the waterfall was. And then back up out of there. Beautiful. And then this afternoon, it was a big climb up to the top of the ridge. And you could see the town and the lake from up here. Now we're just uh, slowly going to start making our way down to uh, Boots Off. <sighs> Gorgeous day to be outside, pretty warm, but uh, hey, could be a lot worse. Stopped and took a little bird bath back there. That really cooled me down. That water was ice cold. It felt good. And uh, I sat on a rock and I saw a bunch of mosquitoes with all the water sitting there and the warm weather. It's no, uh, no surprise we start seeing them today. But other than that, uh, gorgeous day. Glad to be out here. Glad to be able to be out here. All right, uh, you can see the lake. See the lake down there. I'll have to see what the name of it is. It's, it's by Boots Off. It starts with a W. I can't. I can't for the life of me remember. I don't even know what I had for breakfast, let alone what the name of that lake is. 
I have to look it up, but uh all right, I see something cool, I'll let you know. Down we go. Watauga Lake is the name of the lake down here. And uh, we're gonna get pretty up close and personal with it. I think uh, uh, Boots Off is right on it, or real close to it. So we're heading down now. Let's go see what we can find. That bridge over there we're gonna cross it tomorrow and we'll be going up those mountains over there cool stuff Boy, that breeze feels good. Mm -mm -mm. what's going on everybody uh february 15th day 46 from dennis cove road Dev dennis cove road that's right we were at black bear black bear resort dennis cove road to boots off hostel 8.3 miles both our knees are really giving us a fit. Uh, that was a pretty good climb going up the mountain. Um, had some great views today. It was awesome. Um, it was really, really warm in the morning. In the afternoon, it got a little bit better, and the breeze kicked up a little bit. But uh, made it to Boots Off, and uh, we're going to stay in the bunkhouse. And uh, great people here. I met Grumpy. Emoji was here, and she said, Emoji, thank you so much for everything. She not only met us on the trail today, but she was at Boots Off when we got here. Had us come out to her car, and her whole trunk was a resupply. Just blessed to have somebody like, she is a true trail angel, and thank you very much. 
Um, got to meet Grumpy, Jim, Pringles, um, all very nice people. This is a really cool place. I mean, each each time we get to a hostel, I was like, man, this is really nice. Get to the next one, the same thing. But a very cool place. Um, like I say, we're going to stay in the bunkhouse. Um, they were going to take us into town, but... Uh, they had a, they have one place, Bucho's, I think it's called. They, uh, the next town over, they deliver here. So we got some pizza and some mushrooms and fries and onion rings and uh, one cheeseburger. And we split it. So uh, bellies are full. So uh, just making a game plan on what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, it's supposed to rain really hard. Talking about close to two inches of rain so it's going to be a muddy mm, slip and slide so they do have slack pack options uh we need to just sit down and come with come up with a plan we're going to get some we're going to get some showers tonight they have outdoor showers here really really cool and they have a the bathrooms i mean it looks just like an outhouse you open it up and it is far from an outhouse it's really nice it's like a indoor bathroom outside and makes it look like a, an outhouse very very cool bunkhouse is awesome too really really neat place um but uh yeah we'll come up with a plan and find out what we're going to do in the morning so um i'm going to call it a day and um i guess we'll find out in the morning what's going on you know how plans can change boom just like that the lights kick on but anyway um was a good day warm day and i hope you had a good day and we will talk to you in the morning and hopefully at some point tonight we come up with a plan if not we're just putting the packs on and going and see where it takes us so we'll see you guys tomorrow have a good night